right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Definitely hit subscribe here on YouTube. As always, if you learned something, hit that like button, leave a comment, and make sure you ring the bell so you get a notification when I drop a new video. You can also follow me on Twitter, at Anthony Smoke. So today, we are in Excel. And I want to show you the most efficient method to unprotect an Excel worksheet without a password. And so there are multiple ways to accomplish this. You can use third-party tools. There's VBA solutions. I usually comb through Stack Overflow. I check out some blogs and I found that this is the most efficient way. So I like to work in scenarios. Let's pretend you're a, uh, a financial analyst and you work in a toxic environment and your manager is a real piece of work sends you this file he needs a change in 10 minutes or the sun won't come up tomorrow so you're thinking oh i can easily make a change that's fine but when you go to make the change you notice you know you want to make this change you get this um, this notice here the seller chart you're trying to change is on a protected sheet to make a change unprotect the unprotect the sheet easy for me to say you might be requested to enter a password so you hit okay and then you email your manager back please give me the password and he says i don't have it this is your problem now so that's the quality uh, of management that you have in this position but you're not worried at all because you follow anthony b smoke on youtube and you know i've got your back and i'm going to turn you into the hero in this situation so let's go ahead and i'm going to close this up and I've got uh, Windows Explorer open. You can see this is my file. First thing we want to do, let's go ahead and copy and paste this so we can uh, corrupt the file if we're not careful. So we wanna work on the copy. So let's go up here to file name extensions on the view uh, ribbon. And we can see that this is an XLSX file. I wanna rename this. Let's change this to a zip file. If you change a file name extension, the file might become unusable. Yes, we want to change it. That is fine. And then I'm just gonna double click on this and open it. You may need a, um, uh, an unzip program. So I just happen to have one installed. Um, install one if you don't have one. But once you have uh, that program, you can see inside here, I want to go inside the Excel folder, and then I want to go inside the Worksheets folder. And you'll see that I have two XML files. And so let's open up uh, Sheet 1, and you'll notice this is XML, and I want to do a Control F, and I want to look for protection. And you'll see that I found protection here. And so what we want to do is just remove this line of code or between our, uh, uh, our braces or whatever we're calling these, <laughs> right, in HTML. We want to remove this. So let's go ahead and, and close this out. And in order to do that, well, first, let me, let me go in Sheet 2 here. Let's open up Sheet 2. And if I were to do a Control F and search for protection, right? I'm not getting a hit. So we know that this isn't the sheet that we care about. We care about sheet1.xml. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and drag sheet1, that's our protected sheet, to our desktop, right? We have a copy and then I'm going to open it with, I can open it with notepad, that's fine. And so I'm going to do Control F, I'm gonna search for protection. Let's go to find next and you'll see I have found protection. I'm gonna start and go all the way to the end here. Let's keep going. There we go, until we get to the, uh, the closing uh, marks here. And I'm gonna hit uh, delete or backspace. And we've gotten rid of that line of code with protection in it. Let's go ahead and save this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our sheet one and I'm going to put it back in here and it's okay to copy and replace. Let's do that. So now I have a new sheet one in here without that uh, protection. 
So we are good there. And so let's uh, let's close this up. And so actually, I want to go back in from the top. And what I want to do now is I want to uh, rename this to XLSX. So let's go ahead, rename the extension, change it back to XLSX. Yes, I want to change it. That's fine. And so you'll see we get the icon back. That's a good thing. Let's go ahead and open it up any day now. <laughs> and here we go. I'm going to drag this over. And so this is our copy. And so now I can get that toxic manager off of my back instead of 698. You know, we need to change it to uh, 700, right? The sun wasn't going to come up if, unless we made that change. And you'll see my 700s here, and this goes up by the specific amount. Let me control Z. You'll see that 66. Control Y. We put the 700 back at 68. So basically, I can change this sheet now. It is unprotected. So this is the most efficient way to. Uh, unprotect a worksheet without the password and so just to finish our story out you know you get this back to your manager uh, you leave the company the toxic company go on to double your salary and then that old company goes bankrupt because of the quality of people that they have on hand again purely hypothetical here I just like telling um, lessons in stories purely hypothetical so this has been Anthony Smoke. Uh, one thing I want to note, though, is that this, if we go into review, this works on Protect Sheet, not Protect Workbook. With Protect Workbook, you're really going to need a third-party tool to uh, to unprotect the, uh, the password just to open up the workbook. But for Protect Sheet, you are good to go. So this has been Anthony Smoke. Hope you enjoyed this tip. Hopefully I made you the hero here if you run into this, uh, this situation. As always, get out there, do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching, everyone.